The Switch's first three years have been a blast. Sales are up and its library is full of wonderful titles. But Nintendo fans are freaking out right now. E3's been cancelled, Animal Crossing New Horizons is launching in just a few days, and there's been no Direct in over six months. are on fire right now. The Switch has already surpassed the 50 million unit mark, which is a big milestone. A big factor going into the Switch's success is its solid catalog of games. In 2017, the Switch's launch year, the Switch received Mario Odyssey, Zelda Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Splatoon 2, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, 1-2 Switch, and many more. In just one year, the Switch acquired a monstrous catalog of games. In 2018, the Switch also received satisfying titles, including Smash Bros. Ultimate, Mario Party, DK Tropical Freeze, Celeste, and the Pokemon Let's Go games, and much, much more. Recently, in 2019, the Switch's library of games grew even further, getting games like Mario Maker 2, Zelda Link's Awakening, Astral Chain, Pokemon Sword and Shield, Luigi's Mansion 3, Fire Emblem Three Houses, and more. From 2017 to the present, it's a great time to be a Nintendo fan. A large factor bringing fans to the Switch is its number of exclusive titles. Mario, Zelda, and Pokemon and all these franchises can only be experienced on a Nintendo system. Another thing responsible for the Switch's success is its portability. The Joy-Con concept is genius when you want to mix a handheld, home, and multiplayer console together. The sheer possibilities with the Switch bring in many new fans. The Switch still feels so new and fresh even after three years. The Switch Lite was a great idea to attract people who maybe couldn't afford a Switch. Even with the recent Joy-Con drift issue, people won't stop buying a Switch. Now enough about the past. 2020 looks like an unpredictable year from the perspective of Switch fans. Animal Crossing New Horizons is the only main Nintendo Switch title in 2020 so far and it releases in just a few days. I'm so excited for this game and so are a lot of fans. The hype everywhere is unreal. Fans were ecstatic at PAX East 2020 recently also. I've been counting down the days till March 20th for almost two weeks now. It looks so gorgeous with so many new features introduced like terraforming and crafting and oh, oh, oh the museum is so gorgeous. I was at the edge of my seat in hype watching the Animal Crossing Direct when it aired. Even though everybody's really excited, I still wonder what's in store for the Switch for the rest of 2020. Titles like Breath of the Wild 2 and Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition were shown months ago and with a long overdue Direct, it kinda hurts as a fan. The Direct was expected to be shown in January, like most years. Last year, it came in February and was huge, so if January, February, and half of March have gone by this year, is this gonna be like a mini E3 Direct? Cause it has to be really big. It feels weird because we got a Pokemon Direct in January, we got an Animal Crossing Direct in February, and a Smash for reveal for Byleth, also in February, I believe. And Nintendo also keeps posting reveals on YouTube, like the Luigi's Mansion 3 DLC and the LEGO Mario crossover. So, like, was this all supposed to be a direct and Nintendo just separated it? Or is this, like, mini appetizers for a big direct? I have no idea what's happening. It's been a very odd start to the year for Nintendo. Having E3 being shut down due to the coronavirus is disappointing, but not really a problem for Nintendo, seeing that it does digital directs. There are rumors for a March 26th direct, or maybe even two directs in March, but to be honest, I've completely lost hope in all the leakers. So, is Nintendo Switch still worth it in 2020? I would say yes. Even though the road is unpredictable right now, 
there are still so many strong titles on the Switch to enjoy. In just three years, it got so many titles, and even though it's still young, it's a really powerful console. I would say it's actually best to get one now, so you can enjoy the Switch's games while waiting instead of being bone dry with games and just looking at the time every day with barely anything to play. Alright, that's kind of an exaggeration. I've been playing DK Tropical Freeze a lot lately and trying to get all the moons in Mario Odyssey, so I wouldn't say I'm bone dry. I do have a feeling that when Animal Crossing New Horizons launches, all the worries and stress for a direct will all fade away. I can escape from this paranoia of leaks and waiting to a lush, relaxing, and tropical island. Ah, I can see it already. Coconut latte in hand. Ah. Uh, ooh, sorry, got carried away there. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Potato Sensei, out.